Alright you guys and welcome back to Prehistoric Kingdom. Today we are building a hotel for the guests. We are back in Isla Montegas as well so I'm keeping this uh, series going. I want to complete the park totally, have all the dinosaurs that are currently available in the park, put them into there but also add some structures that aren't part of the game so just kind of using the, the tools that the game gives you which is moving the modular pieces into anything you want and just trying to build things that I see especially from Pinterest where I'm getting ideas etc so the hotel itself does actually exist in real life it's not a spitting image of the hotel but I just took ideas from it and wanted to kind of manipulate it a little bit in where things were placed so the hotel I'll leave a link in the description down below it's called the Stella Island Luxury and Resort and Spa it's situated in uh, Crete which is in Greece and uh, if you want to go there, it's about £176 a night, which is um, it's a little bit pricey, but it's I, looking at the pictures, it looks like it's probably worth the money. Now, for the, the one thing I liked about this hotel was that you had these rooms that were literally on top of the pool. So you could literally come, if you was on the bottom floor, this is, so you could come out and you could go straight to the pool because you had this decking area built into your room. And it was, I really liked that idea. It looked really refreshing, it looked nice. And some of the pictures on the website where they were just kind of sitting on their uh, sunbeds from the room and still seeing the pool, it just looked really, really nice. I think it looked more nice because I think I've been locked up, well, we've been locked up for such a long time and not been able to do these sort of things. It's like probably not a good idea to be looking at holidays because it just makes you feel really, really low because you haven't been away for so long. So it's, um, but it's, yeah, it's, it's the, probably the closest I'm gonna get to a holiday at the moment. Um, so as for the building, I'd done the reception, I'd done the front entrance, I really liked the entrance because I noticed a lot of the pieces that they actually used in real life were in the game and I could again manipulate the sizes of them to to how I wanted to how, to how I wanted it to look. There was a few bits, I think the pillars on the main entrance where I used a darker wood, they never had a lighter wood for a round, uh, like a round pillar so I had to use a darker wood. And, but it, it comes together okay, it, it looks how I wanted it to look and um, as you come through into there you've got the reception on your left hand side, on the right hand side you've got some shops and behind the reception just before you go out from the other side of the entrance you've got some toilets around the side as well. Now I really like that reception because it was like you entered the reception, I'm going to keep saying reception here, <laughs> so you entered the area and as you, you can just walk straight through and the open um, back part of the reception as um, it gives you a beautiful view of the hotel itself so you've got the pool you've got the rooms you've got the sunbeds there and it just gives you that really nice vibe where you you know that holiday feeling you have when you can see everything like that and um, yeah it just I, I really liked it a lot and I, I found it really enjoyable to do now for the rooms it was in, you'll probably see a bit later in the video that I was building some stairs at the back and I was using some wooden sticks for the stairs and I think I changed it about two or three times. I wasn't 100% sure on it. I was looking at them. I was like, I, I'm not. I don't like. I don't like it. So I ended up changing it at the end. I don't. I can't remember if I actually included it in the recording, but you will see it in one of the clips as I'm building as well. You'll see the stairs have changed, but I kind of went with a more solid concrete look for the stairs instead of having this sort of floating stairs with wooden sticks. And um, I think it suited the building a lot better. Now there was some like floating trees that they built into the pool area, which I, I really liked as well. It gave that really nice. Um, it wasn't just like complete like plain pool or anything like that. You had this like a little island that was situated around and they put the plants and trees in there. And I really liked that idea and I was going to copy it to the other side of the pool, but I didn't want to make it completely symmetrical. Again, it was trying to make it look similar, but not like identical. Also in the real hotel, there is a um, like a, a bar inside the reception area, but I thought, um, I thought it would be better if I put that outside, situated away from the reception because uh, a little bit more secluded in the sense where it's like its own island, not island, its own sort of area that it's got. So I move that to the left hand side. So you come through the entrance, uh, you come out to the pool area. On your left hand side is a nice bar area. I built like um, some pumps for the uh, beers, uh, for the local beers, which are fantastic, I'm guessing. And then you've got some bottles and stuff in the back on the shelf. So it gives it a little bit more depth and detail. Makes it look a little bit more realistic, I think. And it looks like a really nice place that you can go, especially at night. If you just have a drink and that, but at the moment you can't put the uh, night, night mode in the game. But I think if you can, you can add some lights. It should look fantastic, and I can't wait till they update it so I can implement that into the park and just see how it looks. I'm looking forward to it. It looks should be really good. Now I haven't built an area where you can go and have something to eat. I was because in the actual hotel itself, it's kind of above the reception, and then it's like a, a longer area on the um, right hand side of the building. Where there's like an area and they have like a floating area for um to have your food on on the pool and i did try to do that but then i realized i didn't give myself a lot of space within the pool area to build an area big enough 
to have something to eat on. So I kind of just left that out, but I replaced that by making this really nice beach area. So for the apartments on the opposite side, they are backing onto the sort of the ocean or the, the river, the sea, uh, the uh, tropical canals, I don't know what to say. Um, so yeah, I put down the back and I put these private four post areas where you can sit. So it's a really nice privacy as well. And you've got some standard sunbeds scattered across the beach. So the rooms inside, I was going to go for white walls again, like I built in my house series, but I didn't want to like overuse it. And I think like um, the lighting isn't superb inside the buildings. It doesn't, I think there's still a few tweaks. It doesn't seem to let a lot of light in. It seems that if you've got, even if you've got windows, there's not enough light coming in to give that effect that the room's brighter than it should be. So I, I went with darker walls. It's kind of like a, a warm cabin feeling, even though it's like a Mediterranean sense on the outside. Um, but it, it came, it, it worked okay. I put a shower in each room. I put a bathroom. You've got a nice desk where you can do your bits and bobs. You've got some papers. You've got your folder. And I done like a, a little phone as well. And I made a, a lamp on the side. But it looked like it's like a toilet roll on top. But it's not. It's a lamp. So although you might see a toilet roll, it's not. It is definitely a lamp. But yes, I think that's about it, guys. I think um, I've pretty much covered all bases there. I've probably forgotten some things to tell you about, which um, if, if I have, you don't feel free to ask me down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, if you see something and you want to know anything about it, again, just drop a comment down below. So yes, as always, guys, I will leave it there. I will let you enjoy the rest of the episode. I've put some, a little bit kind of holiday music, if that's the right word, I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, a little bit more cheery music, not so sort of, dreamy and calmy, a little bit more upbeat so you can kind of get a little bit of holiday feeling maybe make you feel a little bit more uh like frustrated that we're not on holiday that we're just all still currently cooped up and not being able to fly without restrictions but um again it's it's nice to sort of we, we can dream i guess can't we we can dream and hopefully very soon that we can start traveling and doing some nice things but yes, hopefully guys, if you like it, don't be afraid to give it a thumbs up, give that little button a nice little squidge for your support. It means so much to me and it keeps this channel growing. It gives me lots of motivation to keep on producing good content for you guys. So yes, enjoy guys and I shall catch you very, very soon. See you later. Bye bye.